Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Patters, and we are back once again, of course, today for the top five Generation 3 Pokemon. And Generation 3 is a, it's a well-loved generation for a lot of people. A lot of people started there. I started on Generation 1, if you didn't already know. And I, I do enjoy Generation 3. It's probably one of my most played generations with uh, Emerald and Fire Red and Leaf Green, stuff like that. So I might, uh, I might piss off a lot of people with this list because it's kind of unorthodox a little bit. Uh, some of it's predictable, but, you know, we'll see. So, of course, as always, this is 100% opinion-based, and you can make your own list in the comment section below if you don't agree with mine. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Alright, so number 5 on today's list is going to be Ludicolo, and there's so much I, I love about this guy. He has an amazing design, he has great typing, he is just one of the happiest Pokemon you'll ever see, and he's the ace of one of my favorite Pokemon characters, which is Minor B or Mirror B, whatever you like to call him, of the XD and Coliseum games. If you played those, then um, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, and I definitely recommend you go and play them because they are they are pretty awesome games. And his typing, I really like his typing because I don't think uh, is there many grass water types. I'm not sure, but it's it's a really good type because you know it kind of gives you resistance to uh, it, well, it gives you a big resistance to water. It gives it gets rid of the grass weakness to um, fire. It gets rid of it gets rid of a lot of things. It gets rid of uh, water weakness to electric, and it's generally just a really good typing to have. Also, he's just really happy. I like it. I like how he's so happy. He's just a dance in a way, not a care in the world. And that's why Ludicolo is number five. Next on the list is going to be another grass type, which is Breloom. Now, Breloom is just... He's a really awesome guy, and I think a lot of people like using Breloom because he's got Spore, which is the 100% accuracy sleep-inducing move. Probably the only sleep-inducing move with 100% accuracy. I'm not entirely sure. And he's also got that massive attack stat. He's fighting type, which... uh. It does give him the four times weakness to flying, but it also gives him the stab mulch fighting type move. So he can he can mock punch the hell out of you. He can sky uppercut you. He can do all sorts of things because he can. He's got that massive attack stat, and I just like using Breloom a lot. I haven't really used many Brelooms, but uh, I've got him in black too, and I'm really enjoying using Breloom. Hopefully, he doesn't die. That would be kind of sucky. If this uh, if this is uploaded after an episode in which he dies, I'm gonna be pretty sad about that because um, um, this is past me and future me done fucks up if you let him die. So, Brillum is number four, and next is going to be number three, of course. So, number three is going to be Gardevoir, and I know Gardevoir is kind of just a less speedy, more specially defensive version of Alakazam because of the high special attack stat that normally comes with a lot of, uh, a lot of Psychic types, which is to be expected because Psychic type is, you, you kind of expect Psychic type to be a special, uh, kind of typing, so... I do like Gardevoir a lot, and it does kind of make it awkward to have a male Gardevoir. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. It's just like it, it doesn't really fit, which is why they put in Gallade, I, I guess. But uh, Gardevoir is a really good Pokemon. I enjoy using Gardevoir a lot in the third generation games, and I'm, uh, I'm really glad they started to put on more Psychic types, which is cool. They had like Claydon and things, which is kind of more a more bulky one. They had Gardevoir, which is the more attacking one. So um, Claydol is not gonna be on this list. Spoiler alert! But Gardevoir it definitely is. And you get number three, so thank you very much for just being yourself, and I don't know what else to say. That brings us nicely onto number two, which is going to be Milotic for Generation 3, and I like Milotic a lot. I dare you to find a more majestic Pokemon than Milotic. It's it's impossible, you know, I, I, I'm, that just may be my opinion, but I think that Milotic has a great design. It's kind of like a... A more, you know, majestic version of Gyarados, and because he had the whole Feebas to Milotic thing when he had the whole Magikarp to Gyarados thing. And uh, I think Milotic is a more defensive version, or something like that, because Milotic is really specially defensive, can take a lot of hits, can, uh, can dish up some pretty nice damage, I guess. Um, if you got some status-inducing moves, you can sort of just sit there and recover the hell out of things, and you can just stall out, because Milotic takes hits like a boss, and can dish out some pretty decent damage. Like I said before, of course, if you got Toxic or something like that. Um, you know, you can do some pretty nice work there. So I like Milotic a lot. I kind of get afraid when I see one because I know they're, I know they're really powerful, and I kind of don't like fighting them all, all that much. But uh, you know, that's kind of the reason why you're number three. Because uh, not number three, sorry, number two. I kind of got myself mixed up there because uh, I don't like fighting you too much, which is kind of a good sign, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna move on to number one. So for number one this week, it's gotta be Flygon. He's already placed the number one on one of the other top fives, the top five outstanding Pokemon, and for good reason, that guy is just a little beast. He uh he did a lot of work in the original Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Luck I did, and I I've enjoyed using him ever since. That uh that little dragon ground type with his little goggles on. I don't know, I really like his design. 
there are a lot better dragon types out there, but I don't care. I like Flygon the most, at least out of the out of the third generation. Uh, I think he is the best. And um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for this week, day, day video, whatever. Yeah, I don't really have a schedule for these things. Uh, they'll come out when they come out. Um, I, I don't want to make any promises or anything like that. So, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to leave your list or your likes or your favorites or whatever you want to do in the comment section below. Don't leave your likes and favorites in there because, you know, that would probably be a pretty long list if you did that. Anyway, yes, that is it. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.